19 main event time here on Worldwide. And I tell you what, we talked earlier about the difference in experience between El Zandi and Bobby Walker. Look at this team coming to the ring right now. And to my knowledge, this is the very first time that we've seen these two men join forces as a tag team. And it's the veteran, you know, we used to call him the gentleman, Chris Adams. Please. That went out the window a few months ago. Yeah. Wow. I guess that includes you. I guess. Yeah, Look he, at me. he used to be the gentleman, Chris Adams. Ever since his association with Steve Regal and David Taylor, you can drop that nickname. And the youngster, Johnny Swinger, to join forces with the experienced Chris Adams. This could be a very interesting tag team. Chris Adams has been known for years as being one of the top tag team wrestlers around. Johnny Swinger's looking for a break. This might be his spot. An excellent analysis. What a great point about Chris Adams. You know how big a fan I was of the original dynamic duo, Chris Adams and the late Gino Hernandez, back about 12, 13 years ago. And Chris Adams hasn't lost a step. Still just double tough, especially with that standing side kick. The super kick can hit you from anywhere in that ring. But look at the opponent. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I was making my debut as a tag team. And, I'm going to kill it and I had my option that I would face a team that is recognized as the top tag team of the decade of the 90s. In Arkansas. Total dominance of the tag team division in world championship wrestling. And as many times as Booker T and Stevie Ray have worn the gold of the WCW World Tag Team title holders, that's been enough to prove it to me. There have been a lot of great tag teams in the 1990s. Sting and Lex Luger, tremendous tag team. The Steiner Brothers, the Hollywood Blonde, the Enforcer. But this tag team, Harlem Heat, they have dominated tag team wrestling worldwide like no other team. We own this country. We own this country. Oh, Chris Adams. So a history lesson there from Chris Adams. I did not know that he owned this country. Well, he's revising history as he speaks. Good. Maybe he should read it first. Oh, 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 oh. Slap the taste out of his mouth, this Booker T. Good job. I didn't see Adams exactly fight back after that open-handed slap. Do you blame him? I don't want to get near a fired-up Booker T. No shape, no form, no fashion. And so good to see the brother combination of Booker T and Stevie Ray back together. They were on the up for so long when Stevie Ray got lost with the New World Order, a now defunct organization within World Championship Wrestling. When that went by the wayside, Stevie Ray knew where to go. That was back to the side of his brother, Booker T. And I think when you speak with Stevie Ray and Booker T, they're trying to turn that into a positive situation. They feel that the time that they spent apart, and it was nearly two years, allowed them to prove themselves as singles wrestlers. And I think that certainly was the case with Booker T, his multiple time reigns as the WCW World's TV Champion. Stevie Ray proved it to me when he became the boss of the NWO Black and White. So they were superior on their own and put together as a tag team, they're invincible. I'm wondering if somewhere old uh, Mother Heath didn't make a couple of well-placed phone calls to bring this reunion about two. Booker T laying them in high and tight on Chris Adams. Look at the gentleman being hammered by Booker T. Shoots Adams all the way across. Booker T ran into the big size 12. Adams follows up quickly. Oh, no. Oh, got it with the end of Gary. Just what we talked about earlier, the experience of Chris Adams exhibited there. He turns things over to Johnny Swinger, the fresh man, and he hits the ring on fire. Series of rights. Now look at the chokehold right in front of the referee. What an opportunity for the king of swing time, Johnny Swinger, putting the boots to Booker T of Harlem Heat. What a feather in the cap if somehow Swinger could get the pinfall, but you're not going to get it from up there. Fine buster from Booker T. Going to turn things over to Big Brother. Sure he is. Tag is in to Stevie Ray, and they're going to do a little double teamwork on Mr. Swinger. Oh, wide open for Stevie Ray and Booker T. A little something extra. 
for Swing Top. Catch him from the front, then catch him from behind, and now it's an opportunity for Stevie Ray to show his dominance. Stevie, oh man, what a right hand. Big meat hook, just tattooed oh, swinger. Corner close line. The head of Johnny Swinger rocking back when Stevie Ray hit him with the lariat. Nice reversal, but he walked right into the back elbow. Everything he had in the reversal, but oh man, did he walk into a lariat from Stevie Ray, and there he caught Chris Adams after. Great impact out of the corner, first on Swinger, and then he caught Adams sleeping on the ring apron. You notice the ring positioning. They move Johnny Swinger to their corner. Stevie Ray just pounding on him, almost as if Booker T. Look at this. Booker T's trying to trying to calm down his brother. Good. Can you believe that? There's the tag to Booker T. You don't want to risk a disqualification in your exuberance. And Booker T warning Stevie Ray of that, and that's good advice from his brother. Now, Stevie Ray spent the two years with the NWO black and white. You know that the illegal tactics had to rub off somehow. Axe kick from Booker T in the back of the head. And I mean, Swinger went beak first right into that WCW logo and he got a two count. What a shock that Swinger was able to kick out. The impact and authority behind that axe kick, it dazed him, it rocked him. Somehow he was able to kick out a two. Standing side kick by Booker T. He just hit that Harlem side kick. Now he's going to turn things over to Stevie Ray. Could be time to finish him off. Hey, B, shoot Swinger in. A big power slam and that's a powerful man to do it. Stevie Ray, so strong, and Booker T is no slouch, but Stevie Ray is the strength of that Harlem Heat team, make no mistake about it. Swinger, into the ropes, up top. Wow! Side heel kick, puts the leg, and that will do it. Harlem Heat, oh, they look so good. It's the perfect combination, power and finesse. The strength of Stevie Ray, the incredible athletic ability of Booker T, and what is it equal? The top tag team of the decade of the 90s. Put them up against any other combination in the last 10 years, they measure up. Harlem Heat is your victor. For Mike today, I'm Scott Hudson. Let's send it to a special worldwide interview. Here on WCW Worldwide, ladies and gentlemen, you talk about the international scope of world championship wrestling. Well, it just doesn't get any bigger than these two great international superstars. They are to my left, Steve Regal. Steven, looking very, very good today. And he is also joined, as usual, by his partner in crime, his colleague, Dave Taylor. David, uh, welcome to WCW Worldwide. I'm going to tell you, Gene. I'm having an affair with Fergie. And I'm absolutely knackered. I've been at it like a frog on a bike pump. <sighs> I'm exhausted, you know. You better explain that to me, Steve Regal. I think I'd rather not. Right, today we're going to have a sale. We're going to have some bargains on the line, and that's for all the tag teams in WCW. We're going to sort out the buyers from the spires, the needy from the greedy, and the ones who trust us to the ones who don't. And what's on offer is to save yourself from a bloody good thrashing at the hands of the two finest wrestlers that ever graced this sport. If you're up to it, I'm sure you will be. You'll get there. We're going to save everybody from a thrashing. Now, take heed, because you'll all be crying tears as big as October cabbages, and you won't know whether it's daylight, moonlight, Israelite, or funny by the gaslight when we finish beating you. So, take care. Every single person who wants to take part in a grappling cooperative, which is a tag team to Eugene, don't stand there like one o'clock. A grappling struck. cooperative? That's the one. Where did you pull that one out of? Don't ask. Don't stand there like one o'clock off You don't, don't want to know. Please. Right. This is exactly what we're going to do. We will take you. We will school you. We will thrash you, as I've said before, and you won't know what's coming. So, too late, too late will be the cry when the man with the bargains has passed you by. And that's us with a bargain today. Take heed, because we'll bloody thrash you if you don't. Thank you very much, Steve Regal. Dave Taylor, you're a little down to the mouth this right. week. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.